A Bemidji man is in custody after escaping from police and intruding at a nearby school. Jackson Bruner visited with St. Philip's officials to find out how they're dealing with Tuesday's incident. There are tests that come along in life. And as a school, we get tested. We got a surprise test the other day. According to the Bemidji Police Department, Billy Joe Large was arrested after 1 p.m. Tuesday for violating probation and possessing meth. At 1.45, he escaped authorities, fleeing the Department of Corrections office and entering St. Philip's Church while students were heading home from school. The one thing you can't secure is a door that's being used for people to exit. That was his method of entry. After getting spotted by a janitor, Large went to the school's third floor and hid under a desk. The police arrived and found him in minutes. The school had already entered what they call a soft lockdown. They just started spreading the word, lockdown, lockdown, and teachers started keeping their students within their classrooms. As a direct result, security at St. Phillips has been changed. Teachers are now asked to lock empty classrooms every time they leave. A new intercom system is also coming for emergency situations. If some teacher was to pick up the phone and just touch that button and say lockdown, everything goes according to plan. All the rooms are immediately locked from one end of the campus to the other. Immediately following the incident, Pastor Chuck Huck sent a letter home to parents explaining what happened and assuring them that St. Phillips will continue to be a safe place for kids to attend. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. And Bemidji Police Chief Mike Mastin could not be reached for comment about how large was able to escape custody. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.